We are in the Fox 43 kitchen with our friends from Olivia's. We got Harry, we got Yanni. Uh, before we get started, I gotta check out these new, look at this outfit, this gig, this setup that they got. I have approximate, look at this, what do you like think? one strap here. Yeah, one go. strap. Looking good, you look good, you feel good, you cook good. That's Ooh. what they say. Ooh, we didn't even what cook are we yet. making today? Pastizio. Pastizio, I said Pasti it wrong. Pa Pastizio. It's Pastizio. a type of pasta. What I can tell you about this pasta is my three and a half year old son cannot eat it because it's hollow and it's hard to actually eat for a young child. However, it holds the sauce. That's right. And that's why you want it. Hey, you gotta stop it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. These guys, you gotta stop the noodles. Yeah. It's like peeling the shell, the skin off of uh, garbanzo beans. That's what All I right. Said. So we're gonna make some. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna make some uh, sauce over here. Some bolognese. Yanni's <laughs> making bechamel sauce. Yes, I am. I'm gonna put some garlic butter in mine, just like that. You see, I got it nice and hot. Some extra virgin olive the oil. The good kind. The good kind. If it comes in a can, can, that's how you know. Boom. Look at that. Just like that. Now we're going to add our mirepoix. I got carrot, onion, celery, and fresh garlic. I minced it. It's very, 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 very small. And we want to cook our uh, mirepoix so it's translucent. We're not trying to brown it. We just want it translucent so it's nice and smooth. Um, after that, I'll be adding my meat. So I'm going to use my spoon, right? right uh, it's got some meat, but I'm going to be putting meat in there. Check it out. Just like that. We're gonna put some white pepper, mm -hmm. some allspice. I'm not gonna put these bay leaves just quite yet. No, hold right? up on them. Yeah, hold up on them. Let this, let this saute a little bit. Yanni, explain what you got going so on. So I got, this. exactly, like Chef Harry said, bechamel, okay? How did it start? I got some butter in my pan if you were paying attention. What I had, I had some Greek sheep's butter with a combination of unsalted butter, okay? All yeah, the it comes good, in a can, too. All the good stuff. I wish it was a can, no. Sean. This thing is a gigantic crate that You guys across. order this, right? Yes, it does. You, yes, you it, bring it in You need overseas. to know a guy who knows a guy to get this you. kind of butter, baby. All right, now, so I let that melt. Once that came to a melt, I'm starting to add my flour here, okay? And what it's I'm perfect, making is called right? a roux, okay? How do you know when a roux's done, Sean? Well, you, well, you got to look at it. Yeah, it's first a big, thing. You got to look at the texture. Yeah. And a big, use your eyes and also mm -hmm. your nose. That's one of the best things about cooking, all the senses, all right? So if you can smell it in the air, it's almost starting to smell like a roasted peanut kind of mm. smell. That's how you know you've hit completion with your uh, roux, your Are you cooking off the flour that you're yes. putting in there? Yes, yes I am. That's there? what's going on here, exactly. Because flour is raw. It yes. needs to cook. Yes, sir. So this is gonna, I'm gonna let this go for about five more seconds here, all right? Then uh, it's time to start getting eggs in here. That's what's gonna make it best amount. Now the important thing to note is it's I've got milk. yolks and have, I've also got, um, uh, I got some whites, exactly. So first in there, I'm gonna put some of this milk in here. Mm. Okay, tell me when, Dad, what do you think? That's a good consistency? Go ahead and whisk it, I'll put the milk right. All right, thank How you, sir. That? Whole milk. Yes, sir. Whole milk. Does that That's matter? Milk. Yeah, man, yeah. you want a nice rich. the fat. Now this sauce, you see how we're the tag team in it? Mm -hmm. It is tough. You got all that roux, it's gotta be nice and uh, tight. This milk, we're gonna keep going and going and going. And what's happening is, by putting it slowly, mm -hmm. it's keeping it warm. If I put all the milk that it costs for in the recipe too fast, that roux is gonna get cold and it's gonna take forever doing what he's doing. So we wanna keep it at a nice even, mm -hmm. we wanna keep it at temp, we're tempering it, right? So we want it to get, we'll, the warmth to be there as he's whisking it. We'll keep adding some more. Are you trying milk. to work out the, like, the clumps? Or are we trying to get rid yeah, of that? Yeah, you gotta get rid of the clumps. Yeah, cook so it, you yep. wanna do that before you add the egg? That's correct. correct. Okay, so I'm gonna nice. let you guys keep it going here. Um, I don't want you guys to go anywhere at home. We got a lot coming up.